Do you wanna know how to grow your YouTube channel with Clubhouse? If you don't know what Clubhouse is, it's an audio only social network, but they did recently add a DM feature where you can host rooms on different topics. In today's video, we're gonna be going over a really cool strategy you could easily use to start growing your YouTube channel using Clubhouse. And I have a bonus tip that you could use to help you grow faster with this strategy, so don't miss a second of this video. And welcome to Entrepreneur's Toolbox. My name is Jonathan Dunkerley, and I'm here to help you find the tools to make an income online. One of the biggest mistakes that YouTube creators make is uploading their videos to YouTube and then just hoping and praying that their videos will do well. Now, some channels are already at a point that they get so much traffic to their channel that people watch their new uploads anyway. But for a newer channel, sometimes we need to find a way to get the right eyes on our videos before YouTube starts doing it for us. You could promote your videos in multiple ways and on multiple platforms. You can use Facebook, Instagram, Discord, Quora, blogs, the list goes on. But after a recent update to the Clubhouse drop-in audio app, I feel that Clubhouse is now one of the most powerful ways to help you promote your new YouTube videos and your old YouTube videos and get them in front of the right audience. Helping people find out about your channel and getting you more views. The new feature may sound simple, but it's a game changer. Now you could simply pin a link to the top of any room that you were a moderator in or that you're hosting. And moderators are just others that you have given permission to help lead the room with you. You can pin whatever you want. I've seen people pin their lead magnets to help grow their list, their offer, a free resource. This alone is insanely valuable to help entrepreneurs monetize their time on Clubhouse. The sky really is the limit. But if you want to grow on YouTube, there is a strategy that I've been using and it involves more than just pinning a YouTube video to your room. So step one, create a public room on Clubhouse on the same exact topic as your YouTube video. You can go a little more vague, but this works much better if you're on the same exact topic. And if you already have a club in Clubhouse, you could hold it in that club. Just make sure that it is an open room, otherwise less people will see the room. Second, pin the link of your YouTube video to the room. Just click the three dots in the top right corner of the screen and click pin a link, paste your link in, and then click add link. It's that simple. Your link will be pinned to the top of your room until you or a moderator changes it. And a little bonus tip, if you create a shortened link through a free service like Bitly, you can see how many people have clicked on your link to your YouTube video throughout your room. It's good to know this information so you know what's working and what's not working. Now, there are several ways that you could do the next step. I'm gonna go over two strategies that I've tested and both work great for me so far. The first method is to be the only one on the clubhouse stage, and that means that you're the only person that is speaking at all. And all you have to do is go over whatever you went over in your YouTube video. Really, that's it. Do not overthink this. It's way simpler than you think. And here are a few examples of ways that you can do this. So say you have a how-to video, just talk about the tips that you went over in the video. If you were doing, say, a product review, talk about the product, talk about the pros, the cons of that product, whatever you went over in your YouTube video. Maybe you did a list video like top five hacks to do blank. You could simply go over those tips one at a time exactly in the same way that you did it in your YouTube video. You can do this with literally any kind of video or topic. Just have a repeated call to action to click on that link that you've pinned. People tend to drop into clubhouse rooms and they didn't necessarily catch the beginning or maybe they would prefer to watch it instead of listening to it live. And then a percentage of those people will go to your YouTube video and some of these people may stay and watch more and more of your videos. I've hosted rooms that are just 10 to 15 minutes long with just myself on stage doing just this. It's a very simple way to do a quick room that serves your audience and then it also helps you grow your YouTube community as well. If you're getting value from this video, be sure that you smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified every time that a new video goes live. The second method is similar, but usually takes more time. Either at the beginning of the room or after your training, you can invite people to the stage to talk about your topic. Throughout the room, do room resets and a room reset is just letting people that are new in the room know the room topic, any rules they need to follow, and is a chance to give a call to action or a CTA. And in this case, the CTA is to go to the pinned link and learn more about the topic or watch the video. 
This method will most likely get you a lot more traffic to your link or your YouTube channel, but it does take more time. And I know we're talking about YouTube, but you could also use this method to promote anything else you're doing. For example, I pin a link to my membership eToolbox.club to some of my rooms. And then in my membership club, I could promote some of my YouTube videos as well as providing additional value and training. Personally, I'm doing both. Method one is great if you just have a spare 10, 15 minutes. You can host a quick room, serve your audience on Clubhouse and convert some of your Clubhouse community to your YouTube community. And I could hear your objections already. Why would someone watch my video if you just gave the training on Clubhouse? Number one, people absorb content differently than others. Personally, I'd always rather have a training as a video rather than a live audio. I love listening to live audio, but I always go for the video first. People can choose how they want to consume the content. This goes into an entirely different topic of repurposing content, and this is such an easy way to do it. Now, for a bonus tip, you can use another new feature on Clubhouse to promote your YouTube videos even more. And I'm talking about replays. Now, when you host a room, you can allow your followers to replay the room and that replay has the pinned link. So you could share a link to these rooms you host, either long or short rooms, and people can listen to the replays and click over to your YouTube videos, even if they don't catch the live room. This helps in multiple ways. You don't only gain more views and subscribers on YouTube, but you could get more followers on Clubhouse. And as your following grows on Clubhouse and you promote more videos, more people will see your rooms and click over to your YouTube videos. This has been a great strategy for me and you don't need to have a following on either platform to start doing it. What strategies have you used to get more views on your YouTube videos? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, be sure to check out this video next. If you got value from this video, be sure to like, subscribe and ring the bell and I will see you in the next one.